A-lister Bruce Willis has been in Hollywood a long time and of course that means he's also earned himself some impressive real estate along the way. Whether it's in Los Angeles, New York, or out in the tropics, Bruce has called some stunning mansions home. Bruce Willis has been one of Hollywood's consistently longest working actors. Sure, he might be a long way from his heyday as Officer John McClane from the Die Hard franchise, but when you drop as legendary a performance as that one, not once, not twice, but five times, odds are you're gonna have a legacy that lasts. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Since getting his start in the film industry in the late 80s, Bruce has been working non-stop. Unfortunately, a recent health diagnosis is about to change all of that. Bruce's family recently revealed that he will be stepping away from acting after discovering that he's suffering from aphasia, a condition that affects one's ability to properly communicate. According to people close to the star, Bruce has known that his health has been in decline for a little while now, and as a result, he's spent the past couple of years selling off his real estate assets to focus on life with his family in California. An undisclosed source told page six he knew he wouldn't eventually need multiple estates and apartments to travel between and that he would instead need to live in a safe environment surrounded by his family over the many successful decades of Bruce's career he acquired a number of different properties almost all of which he's now sold including a stunning mansion located in the heart of Beverly Hills, a country home in New York, and one in Turks and Caicos too. Finally, there's the house that Bruce and his family live in today, a home that he picked up just a couple of years ago in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Brentwood. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the properties of Bruce Willis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Back in the opening years of the early 2000s, Bruce dropped $9 million in a 10,000 square foot Spanish style home located on one acre of land in the Celeb Pack district of Beverly Hills. This property was first built as far back as 1928 and since then has been updated over the years. Today, the entryway features a grand metal chandelier that hangs over a simplistic and airy entryway. A little further into the house, a spacious living room gives way to a minimal aesthetic, but one that doesn't skimp on details like those arched door frames and the exposed ceiling beams. When it comes to the kitchen, a playful twist on the classic double stove top backsplash has been crafted with tiles that pay homage to Spring Street in New York City. In fact, this is just one of three kitchens in the property that are no doubt perfect for catering some epic Hollywood parties. Upstairs is what once was Bruce's man cave. Those dark hardwood floors and some burgundy accents lend the space an air of sophistication. Then there's the master bedroom. It boasts further dark floors, rustic beams, and a fireplace of its own. The nearby ensuite washroom offers up a spacious stone shower. Meanwhile, the spare guest rooms with their large padded headboards and luscious fabrics alongside ensuites with features like a clawfoot tub enter that no matter who's spending the night here, they're living in comfort. Finally, there's the exterior spaces, which include a gigantic fountain out front, as well as a back patio and pool area, which boasts a large wooden deck with additional cabana, an outdoor kitchen, and more than enough space for relaxing. After living in this home for close to a decade, Bruce would list it in 2014 and sell the property for around $16.5 million. 2019 is when Bruce began to list his other properties one by one. After selling an Idaho-based ski compound, Bruce would then move off a 13,000 square foot compound in Westchester County, New York, a posh area of the state that's home to celebrities like Martha Stewart, Richard Gere, and the Clintons. Formed out of four distinct structures and situated on more than 22 acres of land. This property boasts 12 bedrooms, nine baths, and three half baths inside the 8,958 square foot main house. Boasting a gabled roof, shingled exterior, white wood details, and a turreted tower, the main home has a classic yet modern feel whenever you look at it while inside there's sophisticated yet rustic interiors. The entryway boasts exposed wooden beams and wide plank wooden floors that contrast lovely with the white details of the winding carpeted staircase that leads up to the second level. In the nearby large and open living room, multiple sets of French doors create a wall of windows to maximize those views. 
Similar French doors can also be found in the kitchen, which offers direct access to the backyard while flooding the kitchen with a ton of natural light. Then there's the cozy little eating area, which includes a table next to a wood burning fireplace. Of course, if you want something a little more formal, there's always the dining room with yet another fireplace of its very own. Upstairs, Bruce's home also boasts a home office, a couple of bedrooms for kids, as well as a master bedroom with a private deck, a small sitting area, and an ensuite bathroom with a deep soaking tub. But the most interesting space of all is definitely the home's castle-like turret, which offers a dramatic 360 degree panorama. I'm so jealous right now. Outside of that primary property, there's also a 3,000 square foot antique farmhouse, a smaller 1,000 square foot one bedroom cottage, and a 660 square foot apartment space located above the three car garage. See, I almost went out of breath saying that. A couple of years ago, Bruce listed this place, ultimately selling it for $12.95 million. Only a few years before picking up his place in Beverly Hills, Bruce found himself a much more exotic escape in the Turks and Caicos Islands. More than just any vacation home, this would become the very place where Bruce would marry his current wife, Emma Hemming Willis, in 2009. Bruce bought the land in 2000 and over the next four years he'd have his dream house constructed with 12 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and more than seven acres of property. In fact, this home is a one-of-a-kind beachfront retreat that's surrounded on all sides by powder white sand and turquoise waters. The island property the property boasts three separate residences that total around 36,000 square feet of space. The largest home, Main House, sits in the center of the compound and is surrounded by two villas, each of which has their own pool. Each of the villas boasts complete privacy but also provide access ways to the Main House so that friends and family can gather in common spaces easily. Inside the Main House are six bedrooms spread across two levels. The upper space of the home is dedicated to a multi-use children's space while the ground floor boasts a gigantic home theater and the guest bedrooms. But when you're spending time in Turks and Caicos, inside is about the last place you want to be. That's because the outside grounds boast not only a yoga pavilion, but a fully stocked children's playgrounds with a pirate ship. And then there's the even more stunning additions that nature itself provides, like those coconut, banana, and papaya trees. Or how about northern and southern beach frontage? All in all, there's more than 1,000 feet of powdery white sand to take advantage of. Despite all of this, in March of 2019, Bruce would list this estate for $33 million, and given the look of it, it wouldn't take long for him to find a buyer. After reshuffling his real estate portfolio, Bruce would purchase a new home in Brentwood, Los Angeles for just under $10 million to live in with his wife, Emma, and their two daughters, Mabel and Evelyn. According to the listing, their current home clocks in at around 13,000 square feet with a total of seven beds and 12 baths. The exterior of the home features a two-tone gray and white color scheme that graces the front. Meanwhile, on the inside, a contemporary foyer boasts hardwood floors and an epic sized chandelier and more than enough space for a Willis sized family Christmas tree. The home also includes separate living and family rooms, each of which comes with its own fireplace. Then there's the Eden Kitchen, which flaunts two marble islands and a roster of top of the line appliances, nearby a dining room with adjacent glassy wine closet. As for the upstairs, it includes an opulent master suite with vaulted ceilings, another fireplace, dual showroom closets, an all marble bathroom, and a private outdoor terrace. Downstairs in the lower level of the home is a series of recreational amenities that include a pool table, a sauna, and steam room, a gym, and a home theater as well. If that's not enough, your own private elevator provides convenient access from the basement all the way to the top floor. Out back, the yard boasts its very own swimming pool, as well as two cabanas and an alfresco dining area. Considering this is going to be where Bruce will be spending a lot of his free time for the foreseeable future, I gotta say, it's got everything that he might need. It's both luxurious and practical. All right, well, that's gonna wrap up our Bruce Willis house tour. After seeing this legendary actor's mansions from over the years, what did you think? Which is your favorite? It's obviously a hard choice, but his former New York estate was totally the most my style. I've always wanted a house with a turret. Well, be sure to let me know your pick in the comments down below. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.